people look at the next fat person and say, they, oh, at least I'm not bigger than, as them, I'm good. I think each of us do that to ourselves to make ourselves feel more better because it's, uh, I personally have done it. I have looked at the next big person and like, thank God I'm not there. And through the circumstances, certain circumstances, I'm that person today. I never thought I would be this big guy as I am today. And do I think it's kind of a curse? Yes. Do I think it's because of what I've done or what I've said? Maybe because I used to be that person who said, oh my God. On the inside, but then I would say, well, that's not nice. So don't say that. But then you got your everyday other people saying the same exact thing. So of course, and coming from a big family, they, they, they use me as the worst to make their means seem so much better. The people tend to judge your appearance and, and then put you in a category, and it's kind of hard for you to break through that barrier. Other people see you when they see you. Do they see, do they, do they, do they, do they, do they, do they are they making judgments about you, or do they bother to get to know you? And it's fine. People see me, they see, they, I, I, I think it's, I call it the look up, they look down and up. They see my legs, then they see my thighs, then they see the huge stomach, my chest, and then my face. And the, the first expression they get is, oh, the OMG expression, wow. And I f feel like a lot of people, not just adults, you got the kids, you got the older people, and this is everybody in majority. It's just that a lot of people don't expect to see. You don't expect to run into somebody big every day, even though it's there. You don't expect to run into somebody big, or maybe you do, and you just get caught off guard. But I've people. I've, I've always been a person. Always been a person to make friends. A lot of people love me. I, I don't ask for the love, and I don't necessarily ask for the friendships. But they come. And, but it's, it comes with a hindrance because I know their first expression is, "God damn, he's big." And necessarily, you can't tell me that. I don't need a pity party. I really don't. I have to deal with my own self issues. I have to deal with my own self-image, so don't love me because you think I need to be loved. Get to know me because you want to be my friend first. Oh, well, let me be his friend because he ain't got no friends. No, I have a whole lot of friends. I got friends that I don't talk to now that if I go back, we'll be like best friends all over again. So a lot of people, I've, I've, I've done it. It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's human nature. It's human nature not to understand what you don't know. It's human nature to just to hate something you can't understand. No idea what's going on in his life. And yet they still have the audacity to be like, oh, what's going on with you? Why you like that? But you know, and then you tell them and they'd be like, but well, that's not a reason. But they have no idea what's going on and what's making you do that. Oh, it's know? not a good enough reason. Oh, well, that's not a good enough reason for you to be like that, you know. And people try to help you, you know. Some people tell you, listen, you, you know, you should do this, you should do that. But everything everybody mentions involves money. And when you don't have no type of income, or you have to, you know, limit the income that has, you have coming in to what you have to do, you know, it doesn't give you enough money to go to the gym, or, you know, go to the park and exercise and stuff like that, because mostly everything needs money. My aunt had came down and she told my mom flat out, I'm not coming to get your son. I thought I was just coming to get you because he can't get in my car. All that joking and he can't put the seatbelt on and all this other stuff. I can't deal with it. And she didn't want me to say nothing, but I flat out wanted to snap and cuss out my aunt. Like, first off, you don't come see me on the regular. Who the hell are you to say something like that? And plus, she big too. It's not, see, a lot of people need to figure out, it's not a little big, it's not a 
small big, it's not a medium or large or extra large big. We all big as hell, plain and simple. You eat the same cheeseburger, you eat the same collard greens, grits, and everything I eat. So there's no category of big. There's shoe sizes, there's clothes sizes, yes. But if the doctor going to tell you you obese from a size 44 and up, plain and simple, you obese. Now, categories is obese A, obese B, obese C. We're all obese. So, rather, like, she was totally wrong. And I get that on a regular basis, whether I'm getting on the bus and I need to sit. If I'm sitting on the bus, and this is when I was trying to make an effort and go to the gym, they see me in my workout gear, and they look at me with disgust, like, oh, I can't sit down. And it's not like I say you can't sit down. You can sit next to me. People choose not to sit next to me. For what? I don't know. I don't hold a mirror to my face all the time and see how I'm looking. Even though I look, I leave the house the best that I can. Um, uh, obesity is a problem that we have in the country, uh, not just for elder people, uh, for young, young, younger people, even for children. Um, uh, a lot of it, uh, poor dieting, lack of exercise. Uh, these things um, in combination, because sometimes we assume when we see someone obese that this person uh, should be a little bit more responsible about taking care of their weight and they, they don't, that they don't participate in sports or they don't, par a lot of it doesn't have to do with their being uh, inactive. A lot of it has to do with uh, the dieting, the foods that they eat. It has a lot to do with the stress that we have also. And um, the metabolism also, you know. Um, and so it's important for us not to, um, to push obese or big people away, rather to find out how can we help, you know. We, anyone can become obese. Anyone can fall into depression and become obese because obviously he wasn't born this way. When he was born, he grew into that. So any human being that goes through depression, that goes through a level of stress, can transform into that. Um, maybe, um, unfortunately, we stereotype men when we see them uh, a bigger weight and we don't put that much pressure on them, but when we see women that have children and gain the weight, and we don't acknowledge the fact that they also go through stress, and they also go through these, these changes also that, that he's going through also. Uh, unfortunately, we tend to, to, to make it harder on the men that go through this versus the women. We kind of expect women, once they give birth, to add on that extra weight. We kind of just, let it be natural, when in fact, it, it really should be something we should address.